Hi, welcome to my uh, channel Rank Country Sticks. Um, <clears throat> I've got a number of crooks to make in Ramsholm and uh, this will be the first one of the year uh, where it's picked up a bit so it's not so cold in the workshop now. Uh, I've got a rather large horn here. It's going to be a, a plain stick or a plain crook and it is going to be decorated with um, a texel um, head on it but painted on and then um, a flock name on it. Now you can see this is uh, quite a big horn, it's uh, a lonk as far as I know and uh, you can see it's very very shelly to start with. I've measured off 18 inches um, to that chalk mark and that's what I'm going to need at least. I'm going to start cutting this back <clears throat> uh, so we don't waste too much horn but <clears throat> what we're looking for is a section here where the wall thicknesses are quite thick and the hole that goes through is not too big. So we're going to put this on the bandsaw, <clears throat> cut it up and I will come right back to you. Right okay so we've bandsawed this hole now and you can see there's quite a big hole in there, that's the other end and it starts to reduce. <clears throat> now on this one it's stopped very abruptly and it's a good job I cut it at the 18 inch mark um, because I would have been into solid horn and we don't want that because hopefully we can close that um, that horn up there and we gain uh, an inch or two so that's the first operation we've got to cut our horn down the next job is to pop that in some uh, boiling water and boil that for an hour or two so it gets nice and soft and pliable then we're going to put that in a, a press and press it flat and uh, we'll start our operation from there on. So that's the next job. Uh, we'll go and get the boiler ready and come back to you. Right, okay, so what you can see here now is an urn and uh, that's big enough for a horn or two. I shall leave that uh, boiling for an hour or so and we'll come back to that and once that's uh, nice and soft we're going to pop that into um, the press so we're, we'll be back soon Right, while we're waiting for the, the horn to boil and I'd say how long we'll leave it in there for um, an hour or so maybe a bit longer for those of you who know nothing about stick making and uh, working hams on we're just going to show you a little bit of what we use. Now these are homemade presses and the idea is that you boil your horn and you pop it in a press, you bottle jack the uh, plate up and press your horn flat. Um, so say you can't really buy these commercially made, uh, there are lads who will make them for you. If you can weld you can make one yourself. Um, if you can't weld you can still make one because you can certainly buy plate, uh, sometimes with uh, holes drilled in the corners and uh, they use these for stanchions I believe when they uh, build uh, buildings and um, you can get some heavy duty threaded bar and use plenty of nuts and bolts on there and you can create something like this and it will still work as long as you've got uh, two sets of nuts top and bottom and it's nice and strong uh, it should work and if you're using threaded bar here instead of uh, plain bar you can also put uh, nuts on there to sort of work as stops for this middle plate so when you take your bottle jack out it doesn't drop down to the floor because uh, they are heavy. Uh, this one, the round one, that was made out of scrap that um, we, uh, we got from a scrap yard. Um, we got some bar and we got these round discs and we were very lucky they were all the same size. Uh, and the way that was made was we just cut notches into um, uh, the, the round plate and welded the bar into that and uh, as I say worked very nice. Uh, for the bigger horns you could probably do with as big a press as you can get but uh, it's something that as I say uh, if you look for the materials and find them you probably could make it yourself. Um, so that's all for now and we'll just wait for this horn to um, soften up. Right, welcome back. Um, the horn's out of the uh, the boiler now, and uh, it's 
now in the, the press. Uh, I've used a couple of bottle jets because um, with the, the horn not being um, uniform in size it does slide about and try and pop out and uh, you can't get uh, equal pressure all around. So you will find that uh, as you're working along you can like um, put some G-clamps on just to hold things in place and then pop another uh, bottle jack underneath and try and exert uh, pressure uh, on the whole uh, horn. So um, there we are. We'll, we'll leave that now till um, the morning and see what it's like and um, we might give it another heating uh, with a hot air gun and um, we might go through the process again but um, that's it for now folks thanks very much